So in this one we are going to build this. It's an adapter which I can plug in into a car or a boat and then connect both my laptop and my interface for mobile producing. So let's get into it. The main problem is that the voltage of a car battery is 12 volts and my laptop uses 19 volts. So we need to figure out a way to connect a 19 volt device to a 12 volt power supply. This is where this comes into place. This little device can convert a low DC voltage into a higher DC voltage. I'm gonna then embed it into this case and use the different plugs to connect it to everything. So let's start to build a connection to the laptop. So here I got this little plug, it's actually an adapter for some uh, multi-voltage tool. So I'm gonna modify this one to fit this system. You see that there are these three little pins, so I'm just gonna saw off this part so that we can solder on the cable. Okay, perfect. So let's figure out which pins correspond to which side of the plug. I'm going to use my multimeter for that. So we have this function where I can uh, use this option that it peeps when they connect. Let's first try the ground outside. Okay, this is interesting. The pin in the middle is actually not connected to any to the outside points. So it is the outside of the sleeve and the inside are different connections. So I'm now gonna measure the charger of my laptop to verify that these are the contacts we actually need. Therefore, I'm going to put the multimeter into the voltage measuring mode. So outside should be the ground. So that's the black one. And I'm verifying that the pin in the middle doesn't have any uh, current on it. And it is indeed the inside of the, uh, of the plug here which has the current. So this means that here is our minus and here is our plus. And the middle one is actually not needed. So let's put it out of the way so it's easier to solder. And so this is the cable we're gonna use. So let's uh, remove the insulation. Here it has uh, three different wires, but we just need two. So I can remove this one and I'm going to use the brown one for plus and the blue one for minus. So I'm just gonna twist these wires so after twisting the wires, I'm just going to put a little bit of solder on it. So now I'm going to put as well a little bit of solder here on the plug. The reasoning behind it is that we now have solder on both sides and then we can just go and come in and put them together without adding more solder. So I nearly forgot it. I have to use this insulation material so that the two contacts don't come in contact uh, after some time. This kind of tube is uh, contractible by heat. So later on I'm gonna use uh, the lighter to contract it to do the insulating fit. Perfect, now they are married forever. Okay, so let's put the retractable tube on it. Okay, well the one side melted, but at least one side is insulated. So let's put this bigger insulation tube to put it over it all. So I'm slowly turning it while applying the heat. Perfect, so I've added a few layers of the insulation to make it a little bit more stable because this is meant after all for touring. Okay, so let's get the cable into the case. So I figured that this drill is around the size of the cable, I mean I could measure but, but why should I? So let's get the drill. So 
So I'm going to drill two holes on the one side, one for the laptop, one for the interface, and then one hole on the other side for the power interrupt. Perfect. Okay, so let's remove the insulation. Let me just verify if the uh, blue is actually really the ground. Okay, we messed that one up. Okay, we messed that one up. Now uh, the blue is plus and the brown is, uh, is minus. But hey, it doesn't really matter. So let's get our step up converter. Here you see the markings is in plus, in minus, out plus, out minus. So let's do the soldering trick again. So let's solder this together. So I'm gonna first add some solder onto the board. And then as well to the cable. And then I'm going as well to apply here this tie wrap uh, to the cable so that you cannot pull it out. Okay, so let's prepare the cable for the interface. So you can just screw this up and then you have the ground, so the, the exterior and the interior plug. Yeah, the problem is that actually this part of the cable is thinner than the actual cable. So I'm gonna just insulate it a little bit more and just go in with these two small cables. Okay, perfect. So let's do again the retracting a tube around it. So I've got the uh, interface part uh, prepared. So let's do the part which goes to the uh, cigarette uh, lighter plug. So I want to keep it modular, so I'm gonna add here a, a small connector so I can connect other things than the cigarette plug. So I could maybe use a battery or some other 12 volt sources. Okay, nice. So I just prepared the two cables. The smaller cable is coming here to this uh, cigarette lighter plug. Okay, this is our cigarette lighter plug. So we and then we have to solder one part on this metal um, clip and the other wire on this small metal thing. So the interior is the plus and this wider thing is the minus. So let's first add again the solder to the metal parts. Okay, so let's add the little plugs to connect the cigarette plug to our device. And then the source will always get the ones which you can touch, so the female ones. Because if you use a male connector, you could short circuit them if they are touching. And then we're gonna use this tool, which is specially designed to close these, uh, these plugs. I've now added a little bit of shrinking tubing everywhere and I use a black shrinking tube on the minus so that you know which one is which. So now we have to connect the uh, cable for the interface with the disk cable and the input of the step-up converter. So let's uh, fill down the cable into the case. Let's connect the blue and the brown wires and solder everything together. Oh, perfect. Let's get it into the box. Well, 
let's try out if this actually works. Here I've got this uh, 12 volt power supply. And let's measure the currents. Here we got our 12 volts for the interface. And here we got 21 volt for the laptop charger. And now we have here this uh, little screw which we can adjust to change the voltage. You see, when I'm turning the screw, the voltage is changing. So I put it to 19 volts. Okay, so let's uh, test it out on real hardware. Here is the uh, UAD interface. Let's connect it. And it turns on, perfect. So let's grab the laptop. Okay, I just cross verified it on the, uh, on the charger and it says actually 19.5 volts. So I'm gonna put the current a little bit up. So 19.5 volts, perfect. Okay, as you see right here, it says battery very low, 4% only. Let's connect this one. And it says power mode plugged in. Yeah, and that's pretty nice because this means it works. So what I'm going to do now is I go to my car and plug it in and recalibrate it to 19.5 volts because my power supply is I think a little bit weaker than actually car battery. So I'm now in my car. Let's see what is happening when I plug it here in. The voltage has exactly 19.5 volts. So it actually doesn't matter if there are small changes in the voltage going into the step-up converter. Which is even better because on the boats and maybe if your car battery is weak, the input voltage can change and we have a constant output voltage. Okay, perfect. I just went to the car, checked it and it works as well with the cigarette plug. Okay, now it's finished. All the parts I used are linked in the description. You may need to use different ones because your devices have other connections. If more of your devices use different voltages, you have to use more step-up converters, but the principle stays the same. Do you have any questions? Would you build it yourself or have you any feedback for me? Drop it in the comments and consider liking and subscribing. But for now, this is all I got for you. So see you in the next one. Whoops.